A key aspect of the lower extremity malalignment sequence is the Craig's test, and this is used to assess whether the patient is retroverted or antiverted at the hip joint. Antiverted uh, is usually uh, noticed when a patient has a, a toed-in stance where they're actually internally rotated at the hip from neutral. Retroverted is when they're more uh, externally rotated at the hip from neutral. So the way we can uh, assess for what the patient's neutral position is, is this Craig's test. So we want the, position, uh, the patient positioned in prone here, and we want to just have them nice and relaxed. We want to flex their knee up to 90 degrees. I'm going to then take my hand and palpate the greater trochanter. I like to use actually my fingertips because I can feel most sensitively where that greater trochanter is located. So I want to internally and externally rotate, feel that greater trochanter moving. When we, we start way internally rotated here, I'm going to gently move her into, uh, sorry, I'm going to start internally rotated and gently move her externally until I feel that the hip is at its most lateral aspect against my fingers. So I'm going to check that again. Okay, we're going to start her here, kind of disappears, and we're gradually coming more laterally until we get to about right there. And that's the most lateral aspect for her. So we see Alana is right here, is, is a little bit in external rotation from her normal position, from her neutral, which is actually a, a fairly normal uh, spot uh, for her to be positioned at her hip joint. But we would consider this to be slightly retroverted. Whereas if she was way out here and, and her greater trochanter was most laterally out in internal rotation, I would say that she would be more antiverted. And that would be the Craig's test. So it's very helpful to visualize the Craig's test uh, at this angle that we have you at right now to be able to see the internal and external rotation at the hip. So I'm going to demonstrate this again. We're going to flex the knee up. I'm going to palpate the greater, tr greater trochanter here. And I'm going to feel for the spot where the greater trochanter is at its most lateral aspect. So I'm palpating here, okay? This is way into internal rotation, taken here to neutral, a little bit into external rotation, and that's where I feel her at her most lateral aspect. So we would call this slightly retroverted. Retroverted individuals typically have a lot more, uh, sorry, a lot, uh, a lot more uh, external rotation and a lot less internal rotation.